and welcome back friends to let's play silent hunter 4 okay well we weren't quite finished last time I discovered that going to Borneo was a good idea to refuel but um, yeah that's the only thing we could do here to Balik Papan so um, we really do have to return to base even though the base will probably not be held for very much longer so we have to go to go and set out a course for Manila which I will do right now <coughs> anyway I did a lot of cutting in the previous video and I am planning on avoiding that for as much as possible uh, to give you guys at least the real feeling of what I'm doing I'm really trying to avoid the shallows here let's see the Sulu Sea Mr. Sulu <laughs> warp speed um, okay, um, yeah, we'd better head through this area here, the Minda Mindanora Strait thingy. Is it Mindanora? Mindoro, I'm sorry. I have no idea if my geography in this area is below my usual. Okay, alright, that's Minila right there. So we have to make the bend here and then move back in. There we go. Click, 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 click. Yes, Just a little over 12, 1100 yes, nautical miles. Yeah, we'll make that in uh, like no time at all. Okay, so, um, yeah, <coughs> we still have our damage, unfortunately, at 36%. These are indeed percentages here. Um, so if you have a 36 here, it's not that bad but it's not very good either I've had it up to 98 in this game uh, at, uh, at my previous test when I went up against the tugboat and that wasn't because I was uh, firing at anything but because of um, messing in the harbor uh, trying to maneuver the ship between um, pieces of concrete so yeah um, alright so it's, uh, it's quarter to eleven at night, it's a very good uh, moment to leave. I don't expect too much trouble along the way, but well, with my luck, anything could happen. All right. Um, I've noticed that my YouTube uh, movies look very bright, and that's probably because um, I put the uh, gamma up. Uh, if it's bothering you, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can I can drop it a notch. Um, I, it's actually not very um, visible when I play the game. So, alright, anyway, we've set course for Manila. I'm gonna compress time a little bit, at least till morning, and see what kind of weather it is up top. There we go. I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna hit the equator at uh, sunrise or something. Rough estimate gonna enjoy my coke here yeah. yeah here we go well yeah almost at sunrise there we are oh wow that looks really nice nice the rising sun okay I wonder what uh, what my deck crew and uh, and everyone will get for this patrol. Um, I'm assuming that uh, it will be um, it will be quite a bit. Uh, we s we suffered a lot of damage. We didn't sink too many ships though. <laughs> um, yeah, but I I do think we're gonna have some some small promotions perhaps. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Let's hope we don't meet up with any more aircraft. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Anything but aircraft. Aircraft carriers are fine. As long as they don't have any escorts. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be real nice. Alright, we're heading up to the place where we met with the convoy of before. Near Tarakam. And gotta be prepared for 
anything and we're almost slipping into the night again we're going to pass the place where the ship went down um, for some still unknown reason at night I think yes we are there's a I don't know why it did that I, don't, I, really, I honestly I have no idea why it, that ship sank perhaps it collided with another perhaps it just it was unlucky and ran onto a mine which by the way means that we're gonna have to be careful as well I don't know if there's mines here hope not that would be bad for us okay gonna go up top oh oh dear <laughs> I had to load for a moment there due to the bad weather whoa is that a flash thunder okay rough weather ahead really rough look at the waves wow oh my goodness I'm, I'm glad my conning tower is this high if this were a silent hunter 3 and we'd be in a type 7 boat we'd be wet okay I'm gonna retire back to the command room thank you gentlemen no the command room yes as you can see the command room is rocking back and forth this is really a, a bit of a storm oh well Oh well, we can make nice, uh, some nice progress during the night. So let's check our stocks, shall we? Let's see if these. Uh, I'm not sure who they are, English or Dutch, did their their uh, their job. They did. They restocked us with uh, well, almost full torpedoes. Almost. I'm saying almost because. These two tubes are empty. I don't know why. Why would they be empty? Should we not load these? Can I load these? Oh, okay, so now I'm loading. Okay. Mark 14 torpedo. I had a question. Uh, why don't you use heavier torpedoes? Uh, yeah, well, it's it's 1941, 42, um, early 42. They they just had these. <laughs> steam operated torpedoes eventually they're gonna have electrical torpedoes which will have more interesting uh, warheads on them and such as, as far as I've uh, uh, managed to uh, find out the mark 23 uh, mark 18 will be uh, will be better definitely although the electrical ones will have a 5,000 yards maximum range which is unfortunate um okay so um, yeah, let's return to the map screen here. I honestly don't know why this thing sank. Let's hope it doesn't affect our journey. I'm just gonna compress time real easy here. Should something go wrong somehow? Tube 3 ready. Excellent. Tube 4 is also ready. Excellent. Tube 8, Tube 7. They're all loaded and ready. That's what I like to know. I don't need you guys on battle stations, but I do need those tubes ready. Uh, okay, so we're gonna be going through this little straight in the daytime. <laughs> okay, well, we have to dive, we have to dive. If there's something there that we don't want to see, I'm gonna keep it on this time compression for the time being. Let's see. Yeah, the rough seas are still there. So that's good because they will camouflage us, uh, at least uh, for other ships. Uh, that's, that's one of the things I like in Silent Hunter 3. Uh, I mean, this is Pacific, but there you have the North Sea. Now, I live by the North Sea in Holland, and I can tell you, it's uh, it, it's not a very pleasant uh, sea to uh, to live by. It's it's, it's cold. It's, it's uh, generally uh, um, very uh, changeable it changes regularly um, with the tides so you, you, you get a lot of um, waves basically 
uh, it's not flat like the Pacific is often. Often the, the Pacific can be flat like a mirror. Uh, our North Sea, uh, that part of the Atlantic, is, is rarely flat like a mirror. I think never. Is. It's got some real currents. Yeah. So I like this kind of uh, modeling of the, the ocean. I love it. And you can use it as camouflage. I mean, with these kind of waves, or higher waves even, uh, nobody sees you coming until you're really close, normally speaking. Uh, specifically at night, and in the evening and morning, it's, it's great. Well, uh, at least I hope it, it does the same in, in Silent Hunter 4, because that it will definitely help. We'll see the enemy, but they won't see us in time to react. That's basically it. But we're gonna have to wait and see. We're gonna be here all morning. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make some external shots here somewhere as well. Somewhere along the afternoon, I think. For you guys to watch. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's almost 11 in the game. 11.30. Alright. I think 12 o'clock would be a nice, yes, that would be now, would be a nice spot to, uh, to have a good look at the, um, at the sea around us. Okay, I'm just trying to find the, find the free camera. Uh, free external camera, there's a button for that, I'm sure. Ah, oh, the weather report. Clear precipitations, none. Wind speeds, quite a bit of wind. Ah, that's the reason for those lovely bits of um, wave. Okay, I'm just gonna go outside. Why not? Go outside and uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, we're gonna go outside. Go to the beach. All right. Oh wow, it looks a lot more blue now that the sun is out. All right, I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. There we go. I hope this does it. Yes, it does. Perfect. Gonna wee zoom out. Whoa. <laughs> oh wow, those things are actual portholes. I had no idea. Look, there's, there's these little things here. They're actual uh, actual portholes. Okay. Okay, so this is what we what we look like. We zoom out a little. This ocean is beautiful, man. Look at that. Wow, we're like a giant shark or whale or something. Yeah, there we are. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out till as far as I feel comfortable. <laughs> Problem is with this free camera. You're actually using the camera that would normally be used by uh, by the uh, by the captain on the bridge. So if I look around like this, I could actually lose my ship. It's very. You can see my camera is still bobbing. That's because I'm actually I'm sort of like the floating captain. I'm like I'm on a kite string here. Okay, so I'm gonna return to it to our bridge now. Return to the bridge. Okay guys, lower me down, this isn't funny. <laughs> Cut the crap. I mean, come on man, I know there's a little wind, but stop doing this. Wind is actually coming from our starboard side. I think. Yeah, almost certain. Starboard to rear. 119, that's about right there. So, okay, I'm just gonna try and get back to my regular position. If we, move to, if we do this, and we do this, what? No, that doesn't help. Okay, that's good to know. So we really have to move the camera back by hand. Fine. You bored yet? Mm -hmm. Open up. Alright, there we go. Gonna sort of aim now. Yeah, okay. And we are almost on the... Oh no. Oh, okay, stop, stop. Alright, okay, so this is where I was standing before, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is it, this is my spot. Lovely. Alright, 
There we go. Just gonna go back to command and go back on the second bridge. Okay, well, all right. That was a nice external shot, I guess. <coughs> Beautiful scene, but a little bit, bit too windy now, my guess. So I'm gonna return to the back screen. All right, hopefully. Um, we won't meet up with any traffic here because in in this as I said in this part it's like the afternoon so it's not going to be dark anytime soon and uh, it uh, it has risks we, there's the, the the margins for escape are very narrow I can dive obviously but uh, that doesn't always help <laughs> uh, we're getting close I'm just a little worried about the other area here in Sulu Sea might actually be swarming with Japs. The Japanese are planning on uh, an invasion on, uh, on Borneo and the uh, Dutch East Indies. They actually wanted the Dutch East Indies for this very same reason as they wanted Vietnam and uh, and Malaya um, or Indochina if in the case of Vietnam. Uh, <coughs> that was, was because of the, uh, the oil um, a lot of these areas here actually have a lot of oil and if you know um, how valuable oil is to a navy you, you can imagine that want them to uh, secure that for, for Japan <coughs> uh, apart from their like, entire uh, racial domination thing which they also did alright it's night, great okay we're gonna cross most of this at night gonna be halfway through Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this first patrol, I mean, we didn't get too many kills, but that was due to luck, I guess, we had some bad luck with duds, um, especially in the harbor raid I did, the harbor raid was fairly well executed, I mean, there was a patrol boat there, he could have found me, he didn't, so I snuck in there, fairly successful, and, um, yeah, um, or actually completely successful. Even after I blew the tanker up, he still didn't know where I was, so that's perfect. And I learned a couple of things about fighting uh, the destroyers, as I did when I was near Borneo. Um, and that is to uh, <laughs> not fight them, unless you really have to, because your torpedoes are going to be wasted on them. Okay, so there's another day passing. And by the time we reach Panay, it will be evening again. Which is good, because we do not wish to pass through this area by the day, I suppose. The Mindoro Strait, there we go. Alright, so it's going to be nine hours. I think we're going to be facing another morning here, somewhere. I'm glad I picked up that fuel. I think we're gonna reach Manila without incidents. And I hope the game doesn't bug on me. Honestly. That would be really bad. What day is it? It is the 15th of January. Wow, I think we... We started our patrol somewhere late December. I don't even remember. I can't recall quite a ways back. Okay, so we are passing Mandoro. Still, we are not seeing any traffic. Oh, now we do. Radar contact. Moving south very fast. Yeah. My uh, instincts tell me that is an aircraft. So, we want to stay in one piece. We're gonna crash dive her. That's actually I was I was just pausing the game to uh, check my surroundings, and then this thing popped up. Okay, yeah, we don't want any more ma more messing about. Um, so um, yes, sir. crash dive. Go go go. Come on, dive, dive. I want to be under before this thing sees me. K 
Get down there now. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Is he gonna see me? Does he actually see me? No, I think he doesn't. He hasn't seen me yet. It's gonna be my luck. I hope. Come on. Flood the damn thing. Get down. Get down. With the fish. I want all dive planes to be diving. <laughs> okay, I think it hasn't seen us. I'm actually quite sure they have. It hasn't. Might have been one of the American planes though. But uh, yeah, we uh, managed to ditch the fairly easily. Okay. Alright, we're below the water now. Okay. I'm just. Uh, Skipping in time now. Current debt one four zero. Okay. Okay, I need depth Current under Q because I don't want to crush this thing. Well, over one thousand feet. Okay, we don't have to worry about Current our depth. One, eight, zero. Very good. Okay, let's just continue on for a bit until our battery is about fifty percent, and then we're gonna pop up again. And after some time compression, this would be a good time to show our noses. Okay, here we are. And we don't want to go all ahead flank, it's a little ridiculous. Okay, so I think the uh, airplane actually didn't see us. Good thing. Very good thing. Let's have a look outside. Okay, so yeah, we had the rough seas. Uh, with us, I guess. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Little island across the coast. That's one of the Philippines islands. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm indoor. Okay. Alright. Well, well done, guys. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, this is not going to be one of those uh, episodes. It's not going to be action-packed, it's not going to be interesting uh, as far as the action is concerned. Hopefully, just hopefully, we will be able to see the end of this mission. That would be nice. Cavity, is it still there? Yes it is. Perfect. If this bugs, it's going to be the end of the Let's Play because <laughs> I wouldn't know how to fix it. I've been ordered to go back here to Cavity. So hopefully we're going to get a little symbol saying quit. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for at least. Alright, so we're moving into shallow waters. I expect people to call it in a moment. Oh good, we're gonna enter shallow waters in the night. There we go. It's nice and quiet. What's that? There's a light there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm fully aware of the fact that we are in shadow waters. That's why we're doing this at night. I timed it right, I guess. Not bullshit, I was very lucky. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Come fly with me, lesbian seagull. Beautiful. Brings back the entire beavers and butthead vibe. Okay, I'm gonna compress time a little bit more. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Hopefully, whoa, warship medium. Warship. Moving away, bearing, fuck, long range, 
a warship. Okay. What on earth is that doing here? Do you see it? Probably not. No, but is it a warship we should worry about? That's the question. I guess not. It might be the harbor patrol. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna compress time. And smidge, and uh, and hopefully, okay. So now we're gaining on them. I think we're gonna have visual within a couple of moments. We can't actually dive here. I think. Let's see. What's depth on the queue? It's fairly important. Eighty-six feet. Hmm. Might be wise to go to periscope death. <laughs> You know, just in case. This thing is not American. We're allies. We might be in a spot of trouble. Alright, so we're gonna close on it. Once we get a little teeny wee bit closer. Current depth, 40 feet. Okay, 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 hold on. Hold on. This thing is coming at us really quickly. Where's our night scope? Night scope. Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Hey ho. Where is this thing? Where is it? More importantly, what is it? I can hear engines somewhere in the distance. I want to know is what the heck am I looking at? And is it gonna bother me? Okay, hold on. What is it? Sokute mine layer. Holy. Okay, that is not good. That is absolutely not good. Yes, sir. Why, why, why in here? Why now? This is not good at all. Okay, I'm, I hope I can have a better look at it. Okay. How far away are you? Just over two miles. Okay. That will give me time to set my torpedoes. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's bad. It's really bad. It's the worst. Absolute worst thing that can happen. Finding a mine layer in your own damn waters. Tubes are set to high speed impact, so that if they do need to fire, they will fire in time. Okay, this thing is closing fast. Uh, if this is an American ship, it's going to be in so much trouble. Oh no, it's seen my scope. What is this thing doing here? Cut north now. Oh my god, is it gonna hit it? That would 
might be the best shot yet. No. Oh. oh no. Oh no, oh no, you've got to be kidding me. They were too low, high, whatever in the water. Okay. Alright. Alright, you want to play? We're going to play. That's fine by me. Yeah, all my torpedoes missed. Damn. What is it doing here? I just, I want to know what kind of ship that was. Let's see my book. My recognition manual, where is it? No, wait, we're gonna set the aft tubes first. Oh my god, this is so bad. It's so horribly bad. Torpedoes all missed. All of them. Just really bad. Badness. Why is it moving that way? Right, that's it. Yes, sir. About south. New course. One, seven, five. Yes, sir. New course. One, seven, five. Why has it not responded to this yet? That's a mystery. Torpedo miss, sir. Torpedo miss, sir. Torpedo miss, no sir. Torpedo missed. Miss, sir. Okay. Give me my night scope up. And I'm gonna turn it to the degree where I think I find it. It's around here. Found you now. How far away are you? Try and evade this. Damn it, but they're too shallow, man. This, these boats are too damn. None of these are gonna hit. <sighs> Why? I just have to contact anyway. It's ridiculous. hit it. Is this one finally going to hit something? No. No, it's not gonna hit, so it's not gonna do anything. You know what? Fine. You wanna fight? 
will fight. Yeah, we know. The torpedoes won't hit. I'm fully aware of that now. <sighs> okay, so where are we? It's heading southwest. So Kuten mine layer. I wonder, has it even seen me? I'm not sure. Do, need I, do, do I need to care about it? Probably not. Return yes. course. What is it doing here? What on earth is it doing here? I ask you. Is that even? Is it? I mean, is it even a? a is it an enemy? I I don't know. I I really don't. It didn't really react to me. So it might actually be a captured boat. Terrible thing to shoot at. Okay, so that's the recognition manual. Okay, Sokuten. Give me the Sokuten. If it if, if it's even in there. are cruisers. I need smaller ones. Smaller. Even smaller. These are the mine layers, man. They're, they're just smallish. If they, as I said, if they even are. Nope, 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 nope. Mm. No. You know, I think I'm getting the distinct feeling that I might have fired at Something, oh no, this is de definitely Japanese. So, ten line layer. Class patrol craft. Very well. Okay, so it is Japanese, but it's really small, so we might be able to sink it with just our deck gun. If we're lucky. It's gonna use a f firing at us, though. <sighs> yeah. the smallest one they got. It's got one gun. Good grief, why are we not fighting this? It's ridiculous. Where is it? In regards to us. Okay, turning around. Southwest, please. West, southwest. Surface the boat. Ah, now it's seen us. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Give me some rudder. Alright, okay, you guys. Get on the four deck gun. Fire at will. I said fire at will. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Making a perfect target, sir. Yeah, I know. We're taking damage, sir. We have flooding, sir. Yes, sir. We have okay. flooding, sir. Flooding? Flooding is not too bad. We have flooding, sir. Get the damage control team up there. Yeah, 
I understand that, man. Not aiming. Come on, aim a little better. Oh, yeah. Direct hit. I know we have flooding. that I want to make sure they have so much damage they're gonna go down Fixing that flooding? Yes, we are. 21 seconds. Repair time is fine. We're repairing the bulkhead. Oh, wow, look at him go. Guys on the four gun deck are dead. Oh dear. Oh darn it. Yep. This is how it ends. I'm so sorry. We have been destroyed by a simple patrol boat. Well, next time on Let's Play Silent Hunter 4, we're starting an all new campaign. We've learned many things, such as do not engage destroyer type ships with your deck gun. Oh well, I spoke my name wrong anyway. <laughs> Too bad. I salute you. Until next time. Bye-bye.